Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing right away. In this video, I'm going to discuss two new features that are added for PowerPoint Office 365 subscribers. The two new features are, one is ink to shape or text, and the second one is photo transparency effect. Let me show you how these two new features work. The first feature is convert ink to shape or ink to text. For that, let me go to the review tab of PowerPoint ribbon and go to this option called start inking. So I'm going to click on start inking option and then I'm going to draw some shapes here. Let us say I want to draw something that looks like circle. Now, when I finish drawing all the shapes, you will see that there is a new icon that will pop up right next to these shapes. That will allow you to convert those shapes into proper geometrical shapes. Now, I'm going to draw a couple more shapes. The first one of the new shapes is a triangle, maybe a parallelogram like this is a good one, maybe a trapezium. Yeah. So now we have drawn quite a few of them. Now, let me go to stop inking. And when I select this, you can see that whatever that I have drawn now are all grouped together. I can choose to go to this option here, which is a new one called convert your ink. So I'm going to click on that option. And now I have these options available. When I say convert all, you can see that every one of these shapes is beautifully converted into proper geometrical shapes. You can fill these with any color of your choice. If you want to apply any quick layout, you can do so. If you want to apply shape effects like the way that you would do to any normal auto shape, you can do so. Can you see how just by using the pen tool, you are now able to draw your shapes the way you want and can have those converted quite nicely into proper shapes. Now, while this new feature is really good, I somehow feel that we had a very similar feature earlier in Office 365 subscription. And that feature is ink to shape option. Let me click on ink to shape option so that you can see how this particular feature works. The first thing I'm going to do is after clicking ink to shape, I'm going to draw something that is uh, fairly close to a square. And now as soon as I release the mouse button, you can see that the shape is drawn quite naturally. Now, if I want to draw a parallelogram like this, you can see that it is drawn pretty accurately. PowerPoint is intelligent enough to differentiate between a parallelogram and a rectangle like this one. As you can see here, I've drawn a rectangle and it is drawn as a rectangle. The same way, if I want to draw a trapezium, you can see that as soon as I finish my drawing, it gets converted into a trapezium. PowerPoint is intelligent enough to do all this work. Now, where the new feature seems to be quite different is in the ability to convert ink to text. First, let me go to stop inking option and then let me select all this and delete. Let me show you how you can convert ink to text. Let me go to pen feature here and let me draw something like say I'm going to write uh, hello. I know I've been quite creative here in selecting the word. Yeah, that is a good one. Now, once I finish this, I go to stop inking. I select everything and you can see that we have this beautiful convert your ink option and I'm going to click on that one. Now I have the option to convert this. So I'm going to click on convert to all and you can see that my scribble is now converted into a beautiful text. Now you can work with the text exactly as you would work with this text if you had typed it. And this is the icon that really changes everything. And it is called as convert your ink option that was not available earlier. Of course, all this will be available to you if you sign up for the Office Insider option that comes with Office 365 subscription. Now, if you think converting ink to text is a new feature, I think it is not so. We already had this feature 
at a place where it really matters. Let me show you where we had this feature which still exists and how that feature is even more important when it comes to converting your ink to text. Let me delete this. You have this option of converting ink to text when you insert a new equation. Let me go to insert, go to equation option. Instead of clicking on the icon here, I'm going to click on the small drop down menu. And when I go all the way down, I get ink equation option. And here I get this dialog box where I can write whatever that I want here. And you can see the preview here. And when you click on insert, you would be able to insert that equation. Let me write something like x square. So I'm going to write my x square here. I'm using nothing but a simple uh, mouse to write this. Can you see? This is what I'm writing and this is how it gets converted. Now, let me add something more. So I'm going to add plus and let me write something like uh, a square root of x. So let us see how it comes. Yeah, that's beautiful. And if I want to write pi, can you see here as soon as I uh, finished writing, I had some extra uh, space that is allocated. So you have pi. Now, for some of us, this doesn't really look like pi. Actually, this is capital pi. You have the option to select and correct whatever that has been written already. So I'm going to click on the select and correct, and I'm going to choose the option here. And instead of this capital letter pi, I can use the small letter pi, and this is how that gets converted. If you want to erase anything, you can go to erase, and you can always erase that bit. It is a really useful feature, especially for somebody who wants to demonstrate math problems using PowerPoint. All right, so we have got this done and this is what I want to insert. I'm going to say insert and that gets inserted quite beautifully. I'm going to show you now the second new feature, which is the feature called adding transparency to your pictures. We always knew that if you want to make a picture transparent, you need to first draw a shape and then fill that shape with picture and then you get the option to change the transparency levels. With Office 365, you have the option to change the transparency ready-made. For example, let us take this picture, go to the Format tab and you get this new option called Transparency. You click on that and you get the various presets available for you. Let us say I want to use this one called as Transparency 30%. I click on it and if I move this over the other picture, you can see that this one is fairly transparent. It is 30% transparent. You can increase the transparency levels by going to these various presets or you can always go to picture transparency options and you can change the transparency levels to the percentage that you want. So those were the two new features, ink to shape or text and photo transparency. It is one thing to be aware of the various tools available in PowerPoint, and it's a totally different thing to be able to use those tools creatively and with purpose. That is what I teach you in Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. You don't just become aware of the various tools in PowerPoint when you go through this course. You actually start to realize the real power of PowerPoint in using the tools creatively and expressing your message visually and with clarity. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. I highly recommend that you click on the link and check out more details about the program by watching this video. You will be surprised to see the real power of PowerPoint when you go through this video. If you don't want to be bothered learning about every feature of PowerPoint and still want to create some really beautiful PowerPoint slides, then comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle is your answer. This bundle has more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that allow you to create professional quality slides in a matter of seconds. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. Finally, if you want to take your PowerPoint game to the next level, then please join our presentation process free membership. You get access to a number of useful mini courses and downloadable resources entirely for free when you become a free member. There are no strings attached, so you can join with full confidence. All you need to do is to click on the link here and sign up for this membership. I will see you 
inside the membership area.